Good morning. We are in Lexington, Texas. It's 7 a.m. I hope you can hear the cows in the background. This is a perfect morning for some barbecue. Let's go to Snow's. 7 a.m.? Not a big line at all. Great time to get here. This is fantastic. Let's go inside. So the wait today is much less than we did yesterday at Franklin. We got here at 7 a.m. It's 7.30. The line isn't that bad. Not bad at all. So we have about 30 more minutes and we'll be inside. Can't wait. All right, it's about to open up. It's about 8, or sorry, 7.55. We're gonna get these going. Line never grew much more. We did a countdown for some door prizes. I think 76 people in line at eight o'clock. Not too bad. So the line moves a lot faster than Aaron Franklin's. We have, they've been open for 15 minutes now. We're already about the door, which once you just have the door, you can actually place your order then. Also notice the sticker. If you're not following the Tales from the Pits barbecue show podcast, you definitely should. It's a lot of great information and it's a good listen. Okay, we always promise ourselves we're not going to order too much, but we always do. Today we have brisket, we have pork ribs, we have sausage, and then the famous Snow's pork steak. Let's dig in. So the line at Snow's was fantastic. It really only took us about 20 minutes from the time they opened to the time we sat down at our table. Very efficient. They use electric knives, which most barbecue joints don't. I personally don't mind electric knives at all. But let's get started. As always, we'll start off with the brisket. A little different than what you typically get um, here in Central Texas. That's okay. Yeah. Let's take a bite and see. Nice tender brisket. Got a little pot roast flavor to me. It's not the favorite one that I've had this week, but not bad. Very flavorful. If you're only doing one barbecue stock, you won't be disappointed with here. Next, we'll do the pork rib. Nice seasoning. Cook. Not much meat, but that's okay. It wasn't much. The cost. The cost wasn't much, anyways. It's a good solid rib. It's, it's definitely moist. Came right off the bone. Uh, kind of like Franklin's yesterday, it's a little mushy. But that's okay. Like I said, I don't mind. We're not cooking competition. We're cooking something that tastes good, right? Next up, the turkey. Looks a, looks a little dry compared to what we saw uh, at Franklin, but doesn't mean it's bad. Give, give it a try. Not bad at all. There's not really a smoke flavor to it, which kind of surprises me. I want to try that again. Yeah, not much smoke, not much um, seasoning, uh, but I can tell you that it's a lot more moist than it actually looks. So that was surprising, but I'm glad it turned out that way. Now I have a little piece of their famous pork steak. They gave us a little sample inside the line. I don't know what it tastes like, but. I'll do it again. I know it's not very Texan to me, but I, I really like pork. It's it's really good. I like that a lot. Good uh, good flavor. Uh, not overly seasoned. It's kind of like the turkey. But um, again, not much smoke flavor, which is different from the last time I came here. The first time I came to Snow's, it seemed like it had more of a um, like a charcoal flavor. 
from the juices dripping on the coals. I don't get it this time. It's more of a clean flavor, which is still very good, but not what I was expecting at all. Finally, a little piece of the sausage. It's a coarse grind. We got the spicy kind. Let's see. Sausage is easily my favorite. It's um, I'm usually not a fan of coarse grind like that, but this one here I really like. The seasoning is perfect. The spice is very subtle. It's not not overpowering at all. I think even your kids could eat this. Overall, pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this plate, and I'll give you my final thoughts here in a bit. So they've been open for an hour now. Line's about 50 minutes long. From my understanding, there's plenty of food left too. Good enough. So we're done with our meal. We really, really enjoyed it. Um, my friend Marco, he, he said the best thing ever about this. He stated that this was like eating in someone's backyard and he's exactly right. He's like you can't compare what they do here at Snow's to what they do in Franklin. You know, Franklin is, is very good but it's very heavy, very rich, very seasoned. Here, this is this is like going to your buddy's house, and there's something to be said for that. It was awesome. This is barbecue you could eat every day, but sad news is they're only open on Saturdays at 8 a.m. till they till they sell out. So you can't do it every day, but you definitely could. So I'm not. I don't feel stuck, even though we all had about the same amount of meats as we had at Franklin in Cadillac. But um, yeah, it was really good. I, I think Snows is a, a must-go-to place. Um, it's, it's an experience. I mean, you go to Lexington, Texas for snows. It's nice to drive in the country. It's nice to hear the cows in the background. You saw the favorite, uh, you saw at the beginning of the video, that was my favorite part. And my eyes lit up, Marco said, because I was so happy to be in the country and you hear those cows. But anyways, we're going to wrap up here. I may do a, a small little exit later on, but if not, please like, subscribe, and y'all have a great day.